So you want to learn how to use Wireshark? Congratulations. You're officially one step away from either becoming the next cybersecurity genius or getting yourself on an FBI watch list. Either way, let's dive in. Behold, the legendary Wireshark, the tool that allows you to capture network packets, analyze data, and most importantly, pretend like you know what you're doing in front of your IT friends. Once you open this beast, you're greeted by an interface that looks like a NASA control panel. But don't panic just yet. Step one, choose a network interface. If you don't know what that is, maybe go touch some grass and come back later. For most of you, this will be your Wi-Fi. If you're still using Ethernet in 2025, congratulations on being a rare species. Now hit start and watch the magic unfold. Boom. Look at all this information. This is what the Internet actually looks like. Pure, unfiltered chaos. Kind of like your search history. But we won't talk about that. Now, unless you want to scroll through 10,000 lines of digital gibberish, you need filters. Let's say you're hunting for passwords. Uh, I mean, troubleshooting network issues. You can use filters like HTTP or TCP.port equals equals 443 to narrow things down. And just like that, you've gone from Wireshark noob to mildly dangerous. Pat yourself on the back. Want to save this data? Of course you do. Just go to File Greater Than Save As and boom, instant digital evidence. Or as we like to call it, future regrets. And there you have it, a crash course in Wireshark. Use it wisely or recklessly. Either way, don't blame me when your ISP starts asking questions. Like, subscribe, and remember, the internet is watching you.